part. See? That I may impart unto you some what? Spiritual gift. He said, I long to see you. At the time Paul wrote this, he had not been to Rome. But he knew that there was he knew that there was a body of believers in Rome. He knew that some people, some believers had them went to Rome and in Acts chapter one, it talks about that some of the Jews had came all the way from Rome. So he knew that there was some church going on in Rome. But he understood that they was not walking in the full light of revelation. So he's saying, when I come to you, because of Paul, he's hearing what's going on, and he know from what he's hearing, say, okay, this is what they need. Did you follow me now? Yes. They, they need an impartation. Mm -hmm. they, 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 this is what they need. So he's telling them, he said, for I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift. Now listen, to the end that you may be established. So from according to this scripture, it looks like that they wouldn't been able to be able to stand until they received an impartation. Come on, somebody. Yeah, come on. He said the spiritual gifts in the life of the believer establishes you yes. in the things of God. Yes. Come on now, somebody talk to me. Am I in the Bible? Yes. Yes. He said to the end you may be established. So the end of impartation is that you be made to stand strong. Yes. See? Yes. A lot of believers are not able to stand strong out there in warfare with the enemy because they have not received an impartation and they have no spiritual yes. gifts on the inside of them. Yes. Amen? Amen. Then the, uh, 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 the first word, I'm, I'm up under the word impartation. Mm -hmm. The first word was imparted with Romans chapter 1 verse 11. Mm -hmm. And the second word is transmitted. Impartation is transmitting. Impartation is transmitting. And turn with me to Numbers chapter 27. Numbers chapter 27. I'm gonna try to move real fast, but I wanna, but I wanna, I wanna be able to give God the truth. Romans, I mean, sorry, Numbers 27. Go to verse 18, and then turn to Deuteronomy 34 in your Bible, verse 9. Numbers 27, verse 18, and Deuteronomy 34, and put your finger on verse 9. You there say amen. amen. See, everybody's not there. Numbers 27. Verse, start at verse 18. And Deuteronomy 34. Verse 9. Go to those two places. And if you see I, my, my, my method of studying the scriptures, the Bible says, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every testimony or doctrine be established. Amen. Amen? Amen. So I believe in doing going at least two or three scriptures to establish the particular truth that I'm trying to teach. Amen? Amen. That's why I'll give you two scriptures to teach what we're saying. And then, you know, as far as the increased revelation, you go and study this and work with it. God will increase your revelation. Amen. But I just want to give you some Bible education. Amen? Amen. Amen. So if you had numbers, say amen. 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 The first word was imparting, and scripture was Romans chapter 1, verse 11. And you can write Romans 15, 29 under imparting. Uh, the second word is transmitting. Transmitting. And numbers 27, verse 18 and verse 19. And this has to do, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to verse 15. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to go to verse 15. I'm going to read on down to verse 20. It says, And Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man. Somebody say, set a man. Set, set a man. man. Set a man over the congregation, mm -hmm. which may go out before them, and which may go in before them, and which may lead them out, and which may bring them in that the congregation of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. That's the problem I have with people tonight. They don't need to be in a church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, listen, and lay thine hand upon him. Did you see that? Yes. 
And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay thine hand upon him, and set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation. Listen, and give him a charge in their sight. And thou shalt put some of thine honor upon him, that all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient. Go to Deuteronomy 34. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back there and, and, and go into that text. But I want to read both scriptures to you. Deuteronomy 34, verse 9. If you're there, say amen. amen. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had did what? Laid his hands on him. Laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. Now, in these two verses, this is this is this is just this is the way it goes. Uh, Moses now is in old age, and in Numbers, it is believed that at this time he's getting ready to die. Mm. But Moses understood. Listen now, that the people needed a shepherd. Yes. Even though Joshua was Moses' right hand man. Mm -hmm. Even though Joshua was one of the uh, one of the two, him and Caleb, that did not fall with the twelve and went into the promised land and said, we are well able. Yeah. Even though the Bible says that God spoke concerning Joshua, that he had another spirit with him, that his spirit was not like the twelve or the other ten spies. Even though jo God spoke good about Joshua, mm -hmm. he was Moses' right hand man. He was a great warrior, but yet that did not qualify him to become a pastor. Even though he was Moses' right hand man, that come on now, come on, come on. Tell me, I know so many churches are falling because the pastor or the bishop didn't put his partner there. He done put his cousin in position. He done put his son in position and may not have the call of God to get it done. Come on now. I said, I come to equip you. I ain't come to put no rebellion in. I said, I come to equip you. Yeah, yeah. You know, these are a lot of the problems that we're having yeah. is because you, and it's on television. I see some great ministry, even though, you know, they sons are stepping in position, can't teach a lick. Say so. Come on. They don't have the call of God on their life to do it. Mm. So Moses understanding, listen, he loved Joshua. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. if somebody be with you through thick and thin, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He loved Joshua. That's my right hand man. But yet Moses showed us that he still, when it comes to the congregation of the Lord, mm -hmm. he still needed to go and talk to God and see who God had chosen so, to lead the people. Say so. Glory be to God. Yes. Say so. Glory be to God. Is this good Bible? It is. Yes. Yes. Good he still had to go to God. Mm -hmm. And this is a principle that all leaders should, 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 should study and understand. Yes. You yes. still must go to God. Yes. Right. Because even though they may be your right hand man, uh -huh. they may not be qualified or gifted to Come lead on. a congregation. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Teach right. In verse 18 it says, And the Lord said, <laughs> Circle that. Say, and the Lord said, Who said it? And the Lord, Lord said. The Lord said, Listen. Unto Moses, take thee Joshua, the son of Nun. Before you move into ministry, you need God to call your name. Yes. Lord. Lord, that's my talk to yes. you. You, you need heaven to be the call your name. Mm -hmm. And God let him know specifically who I chose. Mm -hmm. Take you, Joshua, the son of Nun. Yes. Come on, y'all ain't shouting amen like you should be shouting. Amen. God knows every one of his children. Yes, mm -hmm. he, does. Yes, he, he does. knows what's in the heart Sing of every one of his children. Yes. 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 He knows when, when Moses gave the outline, Lord, uh, which may go out before them, which may go in before them, which may lead them, listen, which may bring them. Go out, come in, lead, and bring them. Which man qualifies for that? Yes. Your son may not qualify for that. Yes. Your wife may not qualify yes. for that. Your brother, your yes. uncle, your cousin may not qualify yes. for that. Yes. You must seek the face of God yes. and let God choose yes. who he says yes. will qualify yes. for that. Yes. Come on. That's it. Come on. That is it. 
and God knows their name. Yes, yes, he does. <laughs> and he'll tell the leader. Yes. Am I making sense? Yes. yes. And now listen to what God said about it. Now all of this good stuff about Joshua, it still had to be spoken to Moses by the Lord. Yes. So if he called his name, then he described it. A man in who is the spirit. Did you get that? Yes. The spirit to get the job done. There's a type of spirit that a preacher must have or a leader must have that God can trust you. You know what I tell people? And a lot of people don't like to hear me when I say this. And preachers, I've, I've had debate with preachers about this. You know what I tell them? They say, God know everything. I, I said, yeah. I said, yeah. But I said, but you have to convince God that he can trust you. Yes. That's right. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. See, some people get called, but they never make it to the chosen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Many are called, but few are chosen. Uh -huh. See, from the calling to the chosen, you got to convince God. Listen, yes. mm. I said thoroughly convince God uh -huh. that he can trust you. Yes. If you're not oh, getting your life Jesus. right, you're not in the word, you're not praying, Jesus. you're not disciplining your life. God ain't going to put you over nobody. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus. Where that offering bucket at? I'm teaching real good. Yes. 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 Right. In whom is the spirit. Yes. Because yes. God told Samuel, say, I don't look as man see it. That's but right. God looks on the heart. Yes. So just because they're a family member, uh -huh. they may not have the heart oh, to get it done. Come uh on -huh. yeah. now. That is it. Thank you. Oh, Man, we can close the session right now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And he said, now when you bring him, he said, now lay your hand before him. Amen. He said, and then bring him before Eleazar, yes. uh, the priest, which is which is uh, symbolic of the eldership. Mm -hmm. See, you, you still, even though he said, lay some of thy honor, mm -hmm. not all of it. That's right. See, that's why sometimes when young preachers, just because you may get God may call your name, okay? God may recognize you qualify for the job. Sometimes you still got a way. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Right. You just got some of the honor. See, I tell, I, I, I tell them all the time, just because you go out there and all believers can heal the sick. See, a lot of time when it happens, there's a lot of folk that got some folk healed, and they don't went out there and start trying to start an evangelistic campaign. Yeah. 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 You're talking right. They left the church. Now, I ain't saying don't preach. I'm talking about they done left the church. Yeah. Just because you got one or two people here don't mean you're ready to start going out being an evangelist. You may still have to stay right there and work that gift right there. Right there. And then God will start telling that leader, say, start, say, start using them. Say, when Easter, you know what I used to say? I say, when Easter comes, the pastor ain't got no business preaching. It's time to let the evangelist preach. Because you have more unsaved folk in that end. So now you turn the evangelist to let them get their gift to work in. Because there's some unsaved folk up in there. The pastor said, I don't know. Okay, the pastor here, she didn't say that. She gonna get on me. That's my girl. I love her. But I'm gonna make it sense to you. See, 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 he said, just put some of your arm. So what the leader has to do, you have to, when, when God didn't recognize and gave you the name, and you recognize, you got to start giving them room so they can start exercising their gift. Yes. Just because you see the gift, don't shut them down. Right. Don't let them preach. Oh, don't let them do nothing. Jesus. Because the spirit of jealousy is going to get in you. Come on now, so I to you. Oh, some of that on. Start giving them responsibilities yeah. in the church. Start giving them responsibilities in the house. Yes, and then right. watch them and see that they be faithful. Uh -huh. And then let them preach. Yes. That's it. Come oh, on, you talking about right. oh, yeah. Come on out. Mm -hmm. Before the doctor, before they put a doctor in a real live emergency room, you got they, they in a room full of dummies. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> amen. Yes, amen. With the hearts wide open. Yes, right. I mean, it's, they split wide open and yes. tell them this is that organ, that organ goes here before they put them out there. That's so right. give them give them opportunity to make mistakes yes. in their own family yes. before yes. you start sending them out there. Yes. Then they'll be ready. Yes. 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 Yes.
Are you still with? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Verse 19 yes. says, set him. Amen. And it goes down and it says, give him. Amen. See what he's talking? See how, see how God is, you see how God is strategically preparing Joshua mm -hmm. for leadership. Yes. Because now all the time before we get to this, Moses was the one that the folk were driving crazy. That's right. Yeah. Come on now. Yes, come, come on now. Right, right, right. And, and before you, before you see, some folk want to run up there and start pastoring people. So say, you deal with some of the stuff pastors have to get through, but you get to run it. You say, oh, I think God made a mistake. I didn't call me. <laughs> now, now you want it. Stay right on up in there. Can't do nothing. People calling you all the time and now. You done taught on prayer and how to get answered answer prayer. And they still call you. Can you pray for me? I stumped my toe. <laughs> Come on, somebody talk to me now. Did I just teach you? What were you doing? Bye. <laughs> but see what God, but see what God was doing in his wisdom. Somebody say the manifold wisdom of God. What God was doing was he was strategically, little by little, showing Joshua the responsibility that he was gonna have in dealing with the people. That's why when you get to verse 20, listen what he said, and said, some of thine honor. Some, not all of it. So therefore, when, 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 the, when the pastor starts you, don't start trying to take over the people's church. Right. <laughs> Come on now. When I don't beat up on the pastor, I'm going to beat up on y'all. So some of it, just, 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 just if they give you an assignment, just do what they, just, just do what you're supposed to do. Listen, because it's growing in Israel. Because when God had me up under Pastor Jackson, Kevin Jackson, Doctor Kevin Jackson, see everything that he was going through. See, I wasn't ready for that. Come on, that's I said I wasn't ready for it. My character hadn't been built because I, you know, I'm so upset. Stuff I used to see him go to. Yeah. So I was a I was a Shawshank Redemption Christian, a Christian. Not about the Shawshank Redemption. Right? Yeah. He had the knife in the Bible. Yeah. Some of y'all Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> you know where that old gun that you both buried? <laughs> that old knife had the bridge. You know just where to get that knife? That, that, don't you get crazy? <laughs> But 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 as but as I begin to deal with him, come to eldership meetings. See, because now before then, I was none of the it was in none of the eldership meetings because I wasn't there. But when I came in, I begin to see everything that he had to deal with, and I'm learning and observing now. Even though I'm not the lead, even though he called me to prophesy, even though I was preaching real good, but yet I had to be up under him to still learn some things. Yes. I had to learn how to be the buffer that I once disagreed yes. that he shouldn't have been. All right, now. All right. Yes, yes. I told you earlier, he said he was a buffer. Uh -huh. I was against him being a buffer because I couldn't understand it. But once I got there, God began to grow me progressively. Right. I see that I also had to become a buffer uh -huh. because there was a congregation that had many denominations. Uh -huh. And I wanted to get everybody, yeah. not just a Pentecostal. Yeah. 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 Yes. But I would have never learned that if I would have rebelled against God's charge to me yes. to be submissive. Come on. When I became submissive, I was able to learn now. Yes. So when God began to use me yes. in a great capacity about three, four years later, yes. I was able to be successful yes. Yes. in my position. Yes. 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 Amen? Yes. Set him before, give him a charge, and thou shalt put some of thine on. I want something to see. See, the reason I'm highlighting certain phrases is because I want you to mark your Bible up. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Christians that their Bible ain't marked up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> mark, mark it up. Even, even if you don't read it, just mark it up and fool some folk. Don't just let folk look in there and see your Bible. It looked brand new the day you bought it. About five years ago. Come on, come on. I said, all you got to do is just give me your Bible. I can tell you the man. If that Bible broke up, that's the sign of a broke up life. <laughs> come on now. That, come on now. 
When you see that Bible that's been worn and torn, that's somebody that's been working in that Bible, and that Bible been working on them. Come on now, that's somebody that's been sitting at that Bible. I, I look at your Bible, you've been saying 10 years, your Bible still look new. Your page is still sticking together. I rebuke you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. See how I built it up and then I gave you some correction. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. We dealt with transmitting. Okay, in verse 34, 9. Did y'all get that? Did y'all underline that? I want to make sure you get that. Put some of thy honor upon him. Okay? That all the congregation of the children, all the congregation of the children of Israel, listen now, may be obedient. Listen at what God is doing. He says, did you do this? Listen, so the children of Israel may be obedient. Now, and I'm showing you what a lot of upcoming leaders go through when they have issues about God them selected the upcoming leader or the selected one in the area of leadership. When, 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 when the pastor or the leader begins to give them charge, this is why God said, when you do this, I want you to bring it before the congregation yeah. because I want the congregation to also see whom I've chosen. Right. Mm -hmm. Listen, so that they may be obedient. Yes. Because sometimes the pastor give a, a upcoming leader or the upcoming elder a charge and say, go tell so-and-so to do this here. And y'all know how y'all get. You ain't the pastor. <laughs> I said, come on now, come on now, come on now. Come, come, come on. I, he said that they may be obedient. See, he's working on their obedience when he's bringing Joshua into the area of leadership. He said, put some of your honor upon him. Give him a charge. Let the people see it. So if they come and say, pastor told me to tell you this, or if the pastor set a person over an auxiliary in the church, or set up one of the leaders in leadership of the church, and if they tell you what to do, if it, if it within the confines of the vision, just go on and do it. Don't talk about the pastor ain't told me, and then don't get on there and call the pastor. Pastor, did you tell someone? So, so, so yes, tell me yes. this and the pastor should say, Yeah, I told him, don't call me no more if they tell you to do Amen. something. Amen. That's right. That's it. Yes. Yes, Lord. Can we be obedient? Yes. Yes. Because if you have a problem with that, you might need to get delivered from a spirit of rebellion. Yes. 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 Always bucking up against. Yes. Leadership. Yes. It's a learning process for you. It is. Yes. I said it's a learning it process is. for you. Yes. So go ahead on and learn it. Yes. It's going to be good for you now. Yes. Down the line. Yes. King Solomon said wisdom is good for your latter years. Yes. 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 Mm. Am I doing good? Yes. yes. I beat up on the video. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Listen, she's going to see it on DVD. Yes. 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 Amen. But but are uh, you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. So this is what God is doing as he, he told he done told Moses to lay his hands on Joshua. He done called out the name. Moses done prayed. God told Moses exactly who to choose. And then God told him what to do, how to impart some of his honor and some of his wisdom on him. Turn to Deuteronomy 34, 9, and we'll get that. If you there, say amen. Amen. In dealing with this, we'll also see that impartation is not always activation. There is a distance. Impartation is not always activation when it comes to leadership. Even in certain manifestations of the gifts, it still takes time. Are you with me? And Deuteronomy 34, verse 9, it says, I'm going to go to verse 38, okay? And uh, uh, that's going to kind of that's going to kind of give us what we need. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab 30 days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. How did he get it? For Moses had laid his hands upon him. Listen. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. Now listen to what it says. It says, now in, Deut in Numbers 27, it doesn't tell us, okay, what Moses imparted unto Joshua. Tell, tell somebody to say precept upon precept. Precept 
Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little. Here a little. And there a little. There a little. The revelation comes. The revelation comes. So now in Numbers 27, the Bible don't tell us that God, I mean that Moses imparted wisdom into Joshua. It just said God told him to lay his hands on him. Amen? Amen. Deuteronomy 34 tells us what Moses imparted into Joshua, and it was wisdom. Did you see it? Right. Because more than anything, you can operate in the gifts of the Spirit. You can operate in the power of God. You can demonstrate as if you was Jesus' twin brother. But if you don't have wisdom yeah. right. and dealing with the people, you won't build them. King Solomon said, by wisdom, what? A house is built. When he prayed to take over leadership, what did he pray and ask for? Wisdom. So the Bible says that Moses imparted wisdom into Joshua when he laid his hands on him. Number C, giving. We dealt with imparting. We dealt with transmitting uh, Moses and Joshua. Now we're going to talk about giving. In impartation, there's a giving going on. Something is being given. Um, turn with me to Matthew's chapter 10. Is this good for you? Yes. yes. Is it good to you? Yes. yes. Amen. Praise God. Are you glad you came? Yes. yes. Amen. Praise God. Matthew's chapter 10. You know, I was telling uh, Pastor Sellers, I, I was telling Pastor Sellers that I, I used to have, I'm guilty of over-teaching. <laughs> because I used to overstudy. <laughs> but how many of you know it is best to be over-taught <laughs> than <laughs> under-taught? Yeah. 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 Amen? So I'm not going to take you all through all the scriptures that I studied about this, but I just I want to give you enough, and I can give you two or three, so that this doctrine of teaching can be established. And whatever God do with it after you go in your own personal prayer time and, and your personal study time, you know, build on it. Yes. Amen? Yes. Build on it. And God won't be able to give you some more. Study teachers behind it. Because it's about being equipped. Amen? Amen. Uh, Matthew chapter 10. Put your hand on Matthew chapter 10. And also find Mark chapter 6. Matthew chapter 10 and Mark chapter 6. Matthew chapter 10 and Mark chapter 6. When you get there, say amen. 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 And Mark chapter 10, we dealt with impartation. We dealt with impartation. We dealt with imparting in Romans chapter 1, verse 11. We dealt with transmitting in Numbers 27, verse th and, and uh, Deuteronomy 34. And now we're dealing with giving. What happens in impartation? There's an impartation.